Potentially life-saving research happening right here in the triad. A local professor is exploring ways to better treat substance abuse and drug addiction. Her innovative ways have earned millions in grant money and just as importantly, admiration from future scientists. And I'm saying good for her. When I joined over here, we didn't have this building. Assistant Professor Dr. Comfort Boatin has seen High Point University's Fred Wilson School of Pharmacy develop from the ground up. The nice thing about it is also now people also have come to realize the amazing science that High Point University faculty are doing. With years of research experience on her resume. I love chemistry. I love science. Dr. Boatin challenges herself and students to expand their knowledge in ways that can benefit society. Right now, they're working on what could be life-changing research for people who struggle with substance abuse disorders and addiction. Up to date, there is no FDA-approved drug for treatment of cocaine addiction. She submitted a proposal to the National Institutes of Health to support research on ways to treat cocaine addiction and relapse. I work with both undergraduate and pharmacy students. And then, so, so for this proposal, the goal was trying to develop um, new molecules, specifically targeting the dopamine um, receptors. She says dopamine plays an important role within the brain and the body, including how we think and our decisions. Her research seeks to target impulse control. It's not only just targeting the dopamine um, for cocaine, ad uh, cocaine addiction, but also for ADHD, so that if we can target the impulse control, we can really help improve people's life. Dr. Boatin's proposal received such high marks that she was awarded $2.2 million in grant money from the NIH to fund it, the beginning of what she hopes could have a global impact. I am hopeful. And that is my dream, is that one day the compounds that is being developed in my lab can be, um, be put in a tablet form, be given to a patient who struggles with cocaine addiction. It's an achievement that's also personal. As a native of Ghana and West Africa, these opportunities aren't common for women there. So I'm the first generation to even have a doctorate degree. I really appreciate my parents being so supportive because of my curiosity. Dr. Boatin is showing students they can be the key to unlocking the future of medicine, and her impact is appreciated. Pharmacy students voted for her to receive this year's Teacher of the Year and Faculty Excellence Awards. She also works with underrepresented minority girls to introduce them to possibilities in science-based careers. But if I can do it, they can also do it. And this is not Dr. Boatin's first grant since being at HBU, but it is her largest. This latest research will be conducted over the next few years, but very exciting. She is so passionate about what she mm, does, Chad. Tell, yeah. Yes, and she said, when I said, you know, a lot of people struggle with chemistry, but she said, I make it fun. I relate it uh, to everyday life, and that's how her students are successful. That's awesome. Opening up to the next generation Absolutely. There.